Let's take our file My Bedroom August Started and look at how we can update multiple tasks in one go. Firstly, let's move today. So project information, I'm going to assume that today is the 13th of August. So we can then see that we have moved much further on in time and it's about time we updated our project. Now a quick way of updating multiple tasks in this particular case, will be go to the project ribbon, update project, and we'll say update the work as complete through to August the 13th, percent to 100% complete. Okay, and you can see everything that should have been done by today has now been marked as completed. Even part of the one that's on today. That's a really quick way of updating. And all the ticks appear because these tasks have been completed. Let's undo that. An alternative would be to manual select some tasks. So let's pick on the first ones there. First set in my empty room, go to the task ribbon and choose 100%. They all get ticked, progress bars appear and everything's happy. Undo. The alternative is to go into the drop down mark on track. That will do the same thing. They'll all be marked as working on track or update tasks. Now you can see in here that because we've selected multiple tasks, not all of the boxes are available and not all of the boxes can be entered into, but I can enter the percentage complete. So I could say all of these tasks are 50% complete. Okay. And they all get marked as 50% complete and you can see the progression bar within them just about on these smaller ones. Or alternatively, we can mark on track. Everything's updated. Let's undo. Now what happens if we've got to this date here and we aren't on track? Move old furniture, we've done half of, and that's all. So when we come to the project, update project, I can't mark them all as complete because they haven't even been started yet. What I need to do is reschedule uncompleted work to start after when the day we're currently on. Okay, the task that was part done gets split. And everything else gets moved on and therefore there's a consequential knock-on effect to the whole project. If I then move today, so project information, let's go ahead another week. Go to 20th. So we should now be here. But by the time we get to here, we have caught up on ourselves. Then I would go to update project. Update as complete to this new today state. OK, if we now go to update project and say let's update as complete through to my new today's date, which is the 20th, or I can click today. And you see how it jumps to actual today's date, so be careful of that. We want to use the thinking today's date, which is 20. So August the 20th, update as complete. OK, everything then gets marked as complete. So we've got little ticks all the way through the complete ones. Those that cross over the date, such as this task here, plaster the walls. It will have some completion in there. If I double click to look in the task information, 72%. That's what that internal blue bar represents. But we also have some little constraints. And if you hover, you'll see that the constraint says this task has a start note earlier than constraint. That constraint was created when we pushed forward the tasks say that that task cannot start before the push forward. So that was the push forward to date, 8.13. But then the fact that it's linked to predecessors causes the actual start date to be much later than that. So we've got 8.16, 8.21, 8.22, 8.23. But that constraint was added by the update project pushing the tasks forward. Now, if it so happens that one of our tasks was actually done faster, it might happen. So far, we've only been delayed. Plaster the walls is meant to take three days. If we go to the task ribbon and come down to update tasks, this is the easiest one to work on because we can see all the variables. Now I want to make it 100% complete, but instead of it being done in three days, I'm going to say we did it in two and the remaining is none. So we actually finished on the 18th, which is a Sunday. So we must finish on the Monday. 
So it's the whole of Friday and finish on Monday. Notes. The plasterer. Okay. When we say okay, this task will be marked as complete. Got a little tick. And the bar is shortened to represent the new scale. And the tasks that follow on from it, so its successors, are all brought to the left. So they're allowed to start a day early than they were. Not than their original plan, because that's been delayed by this massive task here. But certainly earlier than they were looking until the plasterer managed to recoup a day. So that's how to effectively control your project and use your project as a recording tool. We can see that we can push tasks forward by rescheduling. We can mark progression as we go. And we can even mark a task to be done faster than its original plan. What now remains to be seen is how we are looking compared to our original plan that we saved as the baseline. We saved it as a baseline so that we can measure ourselves against it at any point.